In today's video, I'll be sharing with you a fragrance haul, but also I'll be sharing with you a fragrance declutter. If you're interested, then just keep watching. Hi, my name is Aisha from simplyaisha.com. Here on YouTube, I make videos about fragrance, beauty, luxury, and lifestyle. If those are things you're interested in, please consider subscribing. And if you are a returning subscriber, hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So as I said, in today's video, I'll be sharing with you a fragrance haul. Now the fragrances that I have here are some that I purchased, some that were sent to me in PR. And if you have been around for a while, you know my fragrance hauls can be a little bit crazy, but this year, I've been trying to go a little bit easier. Although if you saw my Born to Stand Out video, I'm sure you wouldn't think so. If you have not seen that video yet, I will link it for you all. But technically, if I didn't have a video dedicated to Born to Stand Out, they would have been in this haul too. So, <laughs> but anyway, I am trying to take it easy with the fragrances. And then in the second half of the video, I'll be talking about some fragrances that ended up leaving my collection over the past few weeks. So let's go ahead and get into this haul. So these will be in no particular order. I'm just pulling out of my basket. So the first fragrance that I have here is this one. So this fragrance is from Atelier Versace. So it is Versace's higher end line. I've never seen these fragrances in person. However, probably a couple months ago, somebody posted about this fragrance on Instagram and I was so intrigued, but I didn't want to pay full price for it. So when I saw it was discounted, <laughs> I scooped it up, y'all. I scooped it up. So let me show you. The, actually, I'm not going to show you the packaging and all for this because I actually filmed an unboxing for this fragrance that will be live on Instagram, hopefully by the time you see this video. So this is what the bottle looks like, though. It is gorgeous heavy and this particular fragrance is called Jejambre Petalant. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that somewhat correctly. I have already smelled this so this is not like my first time smelling it but I have not worn this fragrance yet. So let's go ahead and spray it. I already have thoughts because when I sprayed it on my hand the other day I, um, I came up with some thoughts on it but let's smell it again. Okay, so to me, this is a airy, ginger, saffron, amber scent. Now, is that sounding familiar? <laughs> is it? If you're thinking it may sound like Baccarat Rouge, you would be correct. I do get Baccarat Rouge vibes, and I know people don't like to hear that, but y'all, Baccarat Rouge is like its own category of fragrance, in my opinion. So, Anyway, I get Baccarat Rouge vibes. However, this to me is airier, a little less sweet, and the ginger is like really prominent in here. Now, I don't believe there's any ginger in 540, but this would be like the ginger take on BR 540. I think it's really beautiful. I think that this will be great for year round because the ginger in here does provide some kick, some spice, but it's also bright and uplifting. I also found that when I sprayed this on my hand, I just couldn't get enough of smelling it. So I cannot wait to actually wear this. Um, so I don't have like a full review or anything like that, but I will be wearing this soon and I'll have to report back to y'all later on how it does. But so far, I'm very excited to have this. So again, this is Jeanjambre Petalant by Atelier Versace. This next fragrance is from Soradora and this is called Mallow. So this one is still packaged up. However, I have smelled this. I haven't opened this yet, but I had a sample of Mallow and I fell in love with it from the sample. So I actually ordered this one. So let me get it open. So this is what the bottle looks like. And I have to say, I love the bottles, the white bottles of the Soradora. The black ones were okay, but I love the way the white ones look with the frosted glass at the bottom, but it's still transparent. The white marble looking top feels very very nice and well made so let's go ahead and spray this I haven't worn this full body yet um because again I just had a sample so I really don't usually wear samples full body but let's sniff it out so good so when I smell this I'm getting like a sweet candy like smell now the name is mallow so I don't know if marshmallow was in here. Honestly, after I got the sample, I didn't even look up the notes, y'all. I just went and ordered it because I knew I love the smell. But what I smell kind of smells like it could be marshmallow, but it's not extremely light and fluffy. It's like cotton candy mixed with marshmallow mixed with some floral notes. And I feel like there is some sort of purple flower in here. I'm thinking something like violet that's giving it this 
bit of powderiness, a bit of floral powderiness. But overall, this is a sweet, like decadent scent, but the floral nature to it, the floral powderiness that's in it kind of, I don't know, in a way it kind of makes it a little bit less gourmand to me, but overall just very, very beautiful. It is quite sweet though, but it's not sweet in the way that I think it would be cloying per se. So we shall see. Hopefully I didn't get this too late because <laughs> now it's getting hot here. So hopefully I didn't get this too late and I'll actually be able to wear it. But y'all, it just smelled too good for me not to get it. So I am super excited to try this one out. So again, that is Mallow from Soradora. And I do have a discount code for Soradora. So I will leave that in the description box below. And of course, I always have the links for the fragrances down below as well. This next fragrance is also from Soradora and this is Janny. Now this one was sent to me from the brand. So thank you to Soradora for sending this over. But y'all, I love this fragrance. This smells delicious. Now this is one of those fragrances that when I got it, I opened it, I sprayed it on some paper and I liked it. Like I really enjoyed the smell, but I kind of was like, is this redundant? I don't know if I need this. However, when I wore this the first time, y'all, this is so delicious smelling. So it does give me Angel Share vibes from Killian, but it's not the same, but it definitely is in the same family of Angel Share. So this is a, spicy, sweet, boozy scent. It definitely smells like there's some sort of fruit, like almost like, I don't know if it will be apple pie, but some sort of fruit based pie um, that could be kind of hanging out in the background this fragrance. But there is something that is just so elegant about this while still being scrumptious and delicious. So although it puts me in the mind of Angel Share, I definitely view them as two separate fragrances because to me, Angel Share is a lot more boozy, and uh cinnamony <laughs> cinnamony like uh <laughs> like lavishly chi chi says if y'all don't know who she is check out her channel i'll link it down below but i love her so anyway um definitely you get all that from angel share this one to me it smells like it could have like spices in there like cinnamon but overall i'm getting like sweet pastry like puff pastry like something that is sweet but it's also kind of airy. I love this. This is something that when I wore it, I just could not believe how good I smelled. Like I was kind of like, oh, it smells good, you know, but I wasn't really impressed. <laughs> but when I wore it, I was like, I'm impressed, love it. So very happy to have this. So again, that is Janny by Soradora. This next fragrance is from Wilhelm Parfumery and this is Sparkling Joe. So this fragrance was also sent to me from the kind people over at Twisted Lily. So thank you Twisted Lily for sending this over my way. I also have a discount code for Twisted Lily. So I'll definitely have that in the description box for you guys as well. But this fragrance is something that as soon as I saw it, I wanted to try it because this fragrance is inspired by Josephine Baker. If you don't know who she is, you should, okay? <laughs> <laughs> but when I saw the promo images for this fragrance, I knew I wanted to give it a try. Also, when I saw the notes, I knew I wanted to give it a try. Now, I don't necessarily remember the notes, but I do remember there's a champagne note in this fragrance, and I definitely picked that up. So to me, when I smell this, this is a kind of sparkling, fruity scent. Very happy, very lively. I believe the fruit that's mainly in here is pear. Besides that pear and champagne, I feel like there could be some very light florals in the background, but overall I'm getting a very transparent, sparkling, lively fragrance. It also kind of smells like there could be a little bit of ginger in here. Not quite sure about that, but it kind of smells like it could be in here to me. Now I will say this fragrance is pretty lightweight in my opinion. So I think this will be great for spring and summer. It is not going to be a beast mode fragrance. This is one of those like pretty girl, elegant, feminine fragrances that you wear and you never have to worry about being offensive to somebody. So I actually wore this the other day to go take pictures and the pictures were outside and I felt like this fit the bill perfectly. Now, although I'm featuring this in a haul, I've actually had this since maybe like second week of February or something like that, but it didn't launch until March 1st, so I couldn't talk about it until then. But I wanted to share with you all now because I have been enjoying it. And I think it's gonna be perfect for spring, summer, especially like for brunch or for church or for things like that, where I wanna just smell pretty and easygoing and feminine and flirty. So again, that is Sparkling Joe from Wilhelm Perfumery. 
Next up, I have actually a fragrance oil and I picked this up because I've been hearing people talk about it on Instagram. So when I saw it in my local TJ Maxx, I just went ahead and grabbed it. So this is from the brand Sand and Fog and it's called Pistachio Dream. So I do like, really like the bottle. I haven't used this oil yet. I did smell it when I first got it, but I have not used it. But I like the bottle because it has this dropper. And so you could just easily drop the oil into a fragrance, or I mean into a body lotion or onto your skin. So I do like the bottle. This bottle, which is 50 ml, was $14.99. So I feel like that's a really great price as well. So if you see this in your local TJ Maxx, definitely pick it up. But when I smell this, I get like pistachio, sweet pistachio, like pistachio ice cream or pistachio cookies or something, but it does definitely have this kind of bright nature to it. So maybe I shouldn't say pistachio cookies, but like maybe like pistachio gelato, <laughs> not the fragrance, but <laughs> like a light airy type of pistachio, but make it sweet, make it gourmand. So I think this is going to layer well with a lot of different pistachio scents because I don't find it to be too heavy. But again, I have not worn this yet. So take this info with a grain of salt. So again, that's Pistachio Dream from Sand and Fog. So speaking of pistachio, I have another pistachio scent and this is from the brand Mimic. So this is called Compound 57 and it is a blend of pistachio, tonka and woods. Um, so yeah. I saw this in TJ Maxx and smelled it and really enjoyed the way it smells, so I picked it up. Later on, I did share with you all in a vlog, so if you don't watch my vlogs, you should be, because I always give sneak peeks of stuff. But I shared it with you all in a, blog, in a vlog, and after that, I looked up the fragrance and I realized I, it is supposed to be a dupe for Kayali Young Pistachio. So this brand Mimic is a house that does fragrances that are inspired by like more popular fragrances. Now, I'm not typically a big Big dupe buyer but you know I don't really have anything really against them I just don't typically go for them anyway this fragrance smells really good to me it is sweet it's nutty it has a bit of a citrusy opening to it and long story short it smells like yum pistachio gelato from Kaoli now I've only worn this one time so I don't know how performance compares or anything like that I just wore it to bed but I do enjoy it did I necessarily need this no, because I already have Yum Pistachio Gelato, but more than likely I'm still going to end up keeping it because I didn't pay that much for it. And yeah, I don't know. We'll, we'll see if I end up keeping this because... I already have the original, so I don't know that I need this one too, but I thought I would share it because if you guys are interested, this was only $20 at TJ Maxx, and I think this is gonna be great for spring, summer. So again, that is Mimic Compound 57. The next fragrance I have is from Clean Reserve, and this is called Cell Santal. Now, I also picked this one up from TJ Maxx, and I also mentioned this in that same vlog, but this fragrance is what smells like to me like a salty, airy, slightly woody scent. So it kind of puts me in the mind of something like another 13. They don't smell alike, but I feel like it's in that same kind of realm because it gives me those fresh, airy, summery vibes, but then it kind of has this woody undertone. I think this is going to be great for hot weather. I can see myself wearing this like when I don't want to be offensive. So I can see myself wearing this to the gym. I could wear this in the airport, you know, things like that where you're going to be in close contact with people. But it smells really good. Like it's not a dupe of another 13. Please don't think it is. But it's just in that same type of scent category. And I find this to be like a very like clean girl aesthetic type of scent. Love it. So again, that is Cell Santal from Clean Reserve. This next fragrance is from Zerjoff and this is Herba Gold. So I finally caved and picked this up. <laughs> I've been seeing it for good deals and I've been sharing it with y'all on my Instagram, but I was like, no, Aisha, you don't need it. Just mix herbal puro with something fruity. But I don't know what happened, y'all. I don't know what happened. I went ahead and ordered it. So let's open it up. So this is the innermost box. So let's open it. And there we have it. Oh, I really like this. This is really nice looking in person. So this is herbal gold and it has this gold exterior that kind of looks like ceramic or something i believe it's like a painted glass or something like that but very nice looking very summertime so really like this 
I do have the original Herba Pura from Zerzhoff and I love it. So I was telling myself I didn't need this and I did have a sample of this fragrance from a while ago. So probably, let's say like three or four months ago, I had a sample, but it was a dabber sample. So I felt like I didn't really experience it truly. And um, yeah, I didn't get it. However, I got it now, so let's smell it. Yes, it smells like a tropical twist on the original Herba Pura. Now, to me, original Herba Pura definitely smells like a bowl of like mixed tropical fruits, and then it has this musky ambery base. That's how I always describe Herba Pura. This one to me has an emphasis on the tropical fruits in my opinion. So when I smell this, I feel like I'm definitely getting some sort of like mango or pineapple in addition to the fruits that are already in um, original Herba Pura. This one is definitely smelling sweeter. And I still feel like I can pick up that musky ambery base, but I have to say it kind of feels a little bit more toned down. Like this could be an easier to wear version of Herba Pura. Time will tell if I needed this, okay? Because the reason I held off on getting it because there's so many like Herba Pura dupes, alternatives and all that. And I love the original Herba Pura, but I don't tend to like a lot of the alternatives to Herba Pura. And so I was just like, you know, you really don't need this, Aisha. You need to stop buying flankers. But y'all, I don't know what happened. I must have blacked out one day, bought it, got it for a good price. So I'm not mad at it, but I just don't know if it's gonna be redundant. So time will tell. I definitely love the smell of it. So I'll definitely be wearing it, but time will tell on whether or not I actually needed this fragrance. So again, that is Zerzhoff Herba Gold. The next fragrance I have is from Parlamoi Parfums and this is Comet Paradise. So this fragrance was actually sent to me from Lucky Scent. So thank you so much to Lucky Scent for sending this my way. Again, I do have a discount code for them and it's not an affiliate link. So if you guys don't feel comfortable using affiliate links, number one, I don't know why. But number two, if you don't feel comfortable using affiliate links, you can still just use my code and get a discount. It does not give me anything. It's just a discount to y'all. Anyway, this was sent over from them. And this is the first fragrance that I tried from this brand. And I have to say, I really enjoy it. For me, it's hard to explain. So to me, it comes off like a like lactonic, slightly lactonic, musky scent. Um, it's very airy. It kind of smells like there could be like coconut in here, but not in a tropical fruity way, more like the meat of a coconut. It's giving milky, like coconut milky, musky vibes. Very airy, definitely smells like there is some sort of molecular uh, base in this fragrance that is giving it that airy woodiness that you can get from those types of fragrances. This is a fragrance that when I got it, I was like, I don't really know how I feel about it. Like I knew I liked it, but I was kind of, it's kind of one of those ones that when you spray it on, I'm not sure if I'm really smelling it too much, but I kept coming back to it. <laughs> I kept coming back to it. I've worn this fragrance now probably like four or five times. That's a lot for me. Cause I haven't had it that long. Let me show y'all my dent. I do have a tiny dent in there. You probably can't see it cause the bottle. Let's see if we flip it. Okay, I think you see a little better that way. So I do have a bit of a dent and I have really been enjoying this. And it's one of those fragrances that I have found to be addictive and I don't know why, but I'm here for it. Very easy to wear. I've even worn this to the gym. I could wear this anywhere, I think any time of year, especially once it gets hot. I don't think this is gonna be too much. And it's just one of those kind of your skin but better scents, which I'm not always in the mood for, but I do kind of find myself wearing those a lot more than I used to. There's something about this that just keeps keeps bringing me back to it. So I'm very excited to have this. Cannot wait to wear it more, especially as it gets hotter around here. So again, that is Comet Paradis from Parlemoi de Parfum. Now, of course, since I decided that I love that fragrance, <laughs> Of course, I ordered two more fragrances from Parlement de Parfum, right? <laughs> now, these two fragrances, I have to say, have been on my wish list for literal years, probably like two years or more, both of these fragrances that I ordered. But I had just never tried the brand and I just never like went for it. But because I got this one and really enjoyed it, it inspired me to go ahead and order these other two that have been on my wish list. So this first one is called Mile High. And this one is a pineapple scent. Let's smell it. I haven't worn this yet, um, but I did smell it. 
and it was a love at first sniff for me. Just spoiler alert. <laughs> so to me, this is a juicy, ripe pineapple. Um, and it's definitely giving that juicy pineapple as opposed to the like the more masculine side of pineapple. However, it does have this other like bright citrusy element to it that makes this more unisex in my opinion. Whereas if it was just like juicy sweet pineapple, I would I would think it lean feminine in my to my nose. It also has like this underlying kind of slight woodiness to this fragrance and maybe even a slight vanilla undertone to it. And I feel like when I'm describing this now that it's sounding like other fragrances that I have, like Kajal Lamar, but I don't think they smell the same. Even though I am, as I'm describing, I feel like I would kind of describe them the same. I, they don't smell the same in my opinion. This smells like really fresh and bright and I cannot wait to wear it. It's not overly sweet. It doesn't smell syrupy, but you definitely get that juicy pineapple and some bright citrus notes to it. It smells very refreshing, y'all. And when I sprayed this on paper, like the first time, it was an immediate love. So I can't wait to actually wear this. And I'm glad that I got the small bottle because I feel like this will actually make a good fragrance to go on vacation with. And I like to take full bottles because, you know, I just do, I just do. <laughs> I don't really like to decant that much. I will if I have to, but I do like taking my full bottles on vacation. So I do like that I got the 50 ml bottle because it's quite small and will just easily fit into my bag. So I cannot wait to actually wear this. I think it's gonna be great for summer. So again, that is mile high. The next fragrance that I have from Parla Moi de Parfum is Guimauve de Noel. So again, I've heard about this fragrance, been on my wish list for probably at least two years. This is a marshmallow scent. So I think Guimauve de Noel trans, uh, translates into like Christmas marshmallow or something like that. And if that's the case, I can definitely pick that up because this definitely smells like marshmallow but in a very light airy way. So if you had a more molecular based marshmallow, <laughs> that's what it kind of smells like to me. Um, but it also kind of smells aromatic, like there could be a pine needle or something like that in this fragrance, which would make sense if this does translate to Christmas marshmallow. Yeah, I love it though. I don't, <laughs> if it does translate to Christmas marshmallow, I'm not gonna take it as that I should only wear this around Christmas. I'm just saying that the pine needle, like what you would get on a Christmas tree mixed with marshmallow is kind of what it's giving me. And I'm here for it. It's not like overly sweet. It's not a dense marshmallow scent. To me, it's definitely more airy. So I think I'll be able to get away with wearing this year round. There is sweetness to it, like because it's marshmallow, but it's not overly sweet. It's not thick. I don't think this would be considered cloying. Now, I haven't worn this, so we don't know. But overall, I think I'm going to really be able to get a lot of good use out of this one. So again, that is Guimauve de Noel from Parlez Moi de Parfum. So those are all the fragrances that I picked up. Really quickly, we're gonna go through some that left my collection. So I don't have any of these bottles because I've sold them all. And I didn't decide to do like a separate declutter video because I kind of just decided on a whim to sell these fragrances and they all weren't listed at the same time. So the first fragrance that I ended up decluttering is Parfums de Marley Athalia. So that fragrance is a powdery iris scent, but it definitely has like a dark darker woody base to it. When I think about iris scents, I kind of think about like lipsticky irises that smell very feminine. And in the case of Athalia, I felt like it did smell feminine, but like a strong feminine presence, not like a super girly, fluffy, pretty girl type feminine. I did really enjoy that fragrance. I just never reached for it, like literally never reached for it. I also wore it to my mom's funeral last year and that Probably wasn't a good choice because since then I haven't, every time I've thought about wearing it, I haven't wanted to. So I just decided it was time for me to part ways with it. The next fragrance that I ended up decluttering was also from Parfums de Marly and this is Meliora. Now Meliora to me is a transparent, fruity, juicy scent, but mixed with some greenness. I believe black currant is the main fruit that I picked up in Meliora, but it wasn't just like juicy fruit. It was mixed with the stems and the leaves and everything else. And it was just very kind of like watery transparent in my opinion, not in a bad way. It was a very fresh, like elegant take on a fruity floral. I did enjoy that fragrance, but I think I just like, my time was over with it. I don't think I wore it last spring, summer, or if I did, I might've worn it once. And I just didn't feel like I wanted it anymore. Although it is a beautiful fragrance, I would still recommend it. I just, 
didn't want it anymore. The next fragrance that I decluttered was also from Parfums de Marley, and I promise I don't have anything against Parfums de Marley, but to be 100% honest, every time I would look at my Parfums de Marley collection, I felt like I was just holding on to them for the look, like some of them. <laughs> And so I figured it was time for me to get let some of them go. So the, the fragrance that I declutter is Delina Exclusive. And I know some of y'all are clutching y'all pearls right now, but if you've been watching my channel for a while, you may know that that is a fragrance that I've always loved the smell of since I got it, but I never reached for it. And I have talked about this in multiple videos. So I just was like, I wore it one day, like I put it on my fragrance tray and wore it one day. And after that day, I was like, we're done, we're done. <laughs> So I sold it and it literally sold like probably 20 minutes after I posted it. But um, yeah, it was just time for me to let it go. I didn't, I don't think I'll miss it because I don't think I ever really truly loved it for me. Although I love the smell of it, I just didn't love it for me. The next fragrance that I declutter is from Essential Parfums and it was Divine Vanille. So this was a spicy kind of aromatic vanilla scent, but it wasn't a heavy vanilla scent. And it also kind of had this smoky undertone to it. It often gets compared to Parfums de Marley Herod. And the last time that I actually wore it, I could definitely pick up on that. Although I would say it's not as sweet as Herod. So if Herod is too sweet for you and you want something that's similar, but not as sweet, maybe check that one out. It was a good fragrance. I just felt like my time had passed, like I wasn't ever excited about wearing it anymore. So that one went bye-bye as well. And then the last fragrance that I sold was from Clive Christian and it was Vanilla Orchid. So again, this was on my fragrance tray in February and I really feel like this monthly fragrance tray is helping me kind of go through my collection and help me kind of decide if something needs to leave it. Because if it's on my fragrance tray and I'm still not wanting to wear it, that's kind of a sign that maybe I just don't need it, okay? So Vanilla Orchid was on my fragrance tray and it took me a while into February before I actually wore it. And then when I wore it, I liked it. It's a vanilla scent, but it is a vanilla floral scent. So I've never smelled Vanilla Orchid, <laughs> but I could imagine that's what it would smell like because it's giving a bit of vanilla, it's giving floral, and it was giving some greenness, like something very natural and fresh. Great for springtime. I thought it was a pretty scent. It just wasn't me. It didn't feel like me. And when I wore it, I just felt like I was wearing somebody else's fragrance. So I went ahead and sold that one too. So those are the fragrances that I've recently acquired and a few that I recently decluttered. Let me know if you've tried any of the fragrances I talked about. What do you think of them? Are any of these on your wish list? Let us know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I upload every Sunday, Wednesday, and Friday, so I have tons of content for you. Also, check out my website. It's www.simplyaisha.com. Over there, I do talk about fragrance, but I also talk about other things that I enjoy. If you want to connect me more, follow me on Instagram. I'm in my stories a ton, and I also have a TikTok where I keep my content very relaxed, so definitely follow me on TikTok as well. All the links for all my social media, along with links and and discount codes for the items that I mentioned will be in the description box, so make sure you check that out. I hope you all enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.